What's going on guys? Today we have a new mail day video featuring one of the biggest sports card purchases I've ever made. I'm not too sure if you guys will call me crazy or smart for buying this, but we'll find out very, very soon. So if you guys like these videos, you want to see more, please leave a like, subscribe, helps us do tons more, the content, the giveaways, and also the weekly giveaway is a 2023 prison football hobby box. So to enter, just like, sub, and comment, and you're entered. Free, YouTube only, quick, easy, and best of luck. If that's over, a new one should be in its place. I just don't know what, but same steps usually, info down below. And here's what we got. So mail days is just kind of, you know, showing what I've been buying, talking about cards, blabbering about nonsense sometimes. But uh, I used to do tons of these. And now I do a lot less. The main reason being, you know, instead of five videos with, you know, some good cards, but nothing insane because they're all split up. I try to save them up and post less, but higher quality. So maybe one to two videos with just all insane stuff, which is what we have here. So that's what we got. And then some other uh, very cool, unique stuff on the side. So yeah, here we go. Let's get started with this, I guess, months or maybe every two months mail day. Here we go with this one here. So I'm curious on your thoughts. This is Panini Instant. Do you guys like or dislike Panini Instant? I feel like I don't hate them, don't love them. I don't collect them that much, but I bought some before. I know that the general hobby doesn't love them and I'm not too sure how you guys feel. So very curious. But I pass on most of these when they drop. But I bought this one because I thought it was really cool. I've owned some before. And I feel like other people didn't really care about the card. But I did. And then I passed on some. And some people obviously who probably had the card. Were like this is the card. So I don't know. I feel like not enough love for those ones sometimes. Even though sometimes they're very cool cards. And sometimes they're not. So if you ever seen those manufactured relic ones. I absolutely hate those. Those are the worst. Those ones make no sense. It's just like a manufactured logo or team logo with an autograph and i hate those those are just pointless in my opinion and they make those all the time for some reason so here's what i got we got one binyama halloween and these are the ones i thought were cool and did buy and got uh 25 i think but i sold a couple and pretty much i'll sell some of these give some away in our next whatnot shows upcoming ones future giveaways things like that so um yeah got a bunch of these i thought they were cool they're made to order, so 15,593. I believe if I was the only one who bought one, then it'd be number two one. But pretty much they make these to order and however many are ordered they'll make. So I guess if there's just one made, they probably shouldn't have done that moment because no one cared about it. So yeah, we've got all these and you can just order these with parallels. If they have autographs with Panini, then autographs versions too, but 1B does not and neither does a bunch of other guys I see on here. So 1B uh, was a cool one. Obviously, not a lot of cards for him yet, so went with these. One question. Look at all these top loaders. Who did the taping? I hope they have a machine or something like that, but does someone have to sit down and tape hundreds of thousands of cards one by one? I feel very bad for that person. That is not fair. But anyways, yeah, got these. What do you guys think? Do you guys like these, not like these? Nothing insane, but they're cool cards, and... I might buy some more instant stuff down the line, but a lot of the stuff they make is just so pointless, in my opinion. You can go on their site and see. There's some cool stuff, but a lot of them are just completely, in my opinion, pointless. It's just uh, some random relic they made that has nothing to do with the player and the last like, a couple hundred bucks. And I was like, what? Why? So anyway, here's another 1v1. Maybe I'm wrong. Do you guys disagree? That's just my opinions. I know some people who think that the instant cards rock and have told me that, you know, the Bryce Young, for example, should be the greatest card of all time. I know some people who think they suck. So what do you guys think? Here's Wemby's 38 point game against the Suns. Another cool one. So much lower print, 6,000. And these days, that seems like a lot. A lot of cards have a higher print run than that. So yeah, getting crazy out there. But 38 points, there we are. And yeah, cool stuff. And when I said the Bryce card, Bryce and I think CJ had some stickers with Panini and they put them on kind of instant cards. So some people think those are their best ones because they're their only NFL autographs. Some people, because they're instant, you know, don't care about them. And I guess, well, I think they're cool. I might be on the second side because I didn't buy one yet. And maybe I will, but it doesn't kind of draw me in that much. So there are the uh, one Binyamas. And um, yeah, you want one? Join an upcoming stream and I'll give some away and sell some too. So there we go. Well, instant action. Want to showcase those. Saw them. Say, so why not? You know, why not take a little roll of the dice with some one Yamas? He has very few NBA cards. So 
Now to the singles. And these are all sick cards, in my opinion. Comment down below your favorite one. And also comment what have you been buying recently. And here's our first one. Card number one. We'll fly through these and just kind of show cards. Shay. So, this is from my LCS. And let me get into focus. There we are. 1819. With the Clippers. RPA. And look at his little autograph. There we are. So, little autograph on a big sticker. 1099 though, and RPA. Love Shea. Really good at basketball. And um, saw it in my LCS and bought it. So, there you go for the Clippers. Next card up. Now, Bowman U. I like Bowman U. I know some people who won't touch this stuff. I don't like collegiate stuff, but I like Bowman U. So, here's a Brandon Miller. I didn't buy this. This one I picked up. So that's a mail day as well. Off camera pulled. I don't know if I ever showed this one. If I did, my apologies. But um, everything's a mess right now. And I never got a chance to uh, kind of sort it well. So if I showed it already, my bad. I don't think I did. But opened tons of Bowman U. Several cases. Chasing Wemby. Never pulled an autograph of his. It was uh, not fun. But I did pull this Brandon Miller green. And he's been playing well. So Sicarado to 99. Green. Mr. Brandon Miller. What do you guys think? I like first Bowman's. I love baseball and... You know, that is the card in baseball, so I love him in other sports as well. So, Brandon Miller, there we go. Next up, got this Desmond Bain to five. As always, big thanks to anyone who made a deal, sent stuff in, appreciate it. Always means a lot. My guy, Desmond Bain, four of five, green shimmer. Look at that. I love Bain, and I'm sure that shot went in, because he's that guy. Next card up, another off camera poll which i don't think i showed i'd be surprised if i did but corbin carroll bowman chrome image variation i ripped so much bowman if you haven't seen our draft videos absolutely epic like twenty thousand spent but we pulled the card of cards and then i ripped bowman chrome before that and i did it off camera but then i did bowman draft on camera because i think we have enough baseball guys that it'd be worth posting and the brady was in there so Bowman Chrome ripped off camera, pulled tons of big first Bowman autos, and then Corbin Carroll image variation, which I love. So there we go. Look at that picture. Why don't we have this kind of stuff in basketball and football? Seriously. I love that. That is very, very cool. And all the like Topps Chromes, Bowman Chromes. I always look for these cards. So there we go. Now, baseball. Jackson Holiday to 199. Also got this from my LCS. Walked in. I don't even remember how it went. I just saw it and I was like, oh, how much? And all of a sudden we had a deal. So I bought this one. I also have, I think with Arena Club, a base first Bowman Auto. I think I bought that one on Arena Club. So I have that too. Never got it sent back yet. It's just chilling there. I'm not sure I will probably, or unless someone makes an offer. But um, yeah, this is to 199 Very good uh, baseball player because the Orioles just pump out top prospects. It's crazy. So there we go. Very nice one. And got this in a bulk deal on my LCS. Walked in, not for cards. Walked out with like, like 2K in cards. So <laughs> yeah. Anyway, gotta love LCS trips where I'm not gonna buy anything. Anyway, here is Cam Thomas, the greatest starter of all time. His stuff is so cheap, so I just started buying a bunch. And he's a blue prism. And he's very good at basketball too. Plus, he's a net. I don't like the Brooklyn Nets, but I like the Nets. I'm a Jersey guy. Bring the New Jersey Nets back, and the Brooklyn Nets can make up their own name. The Nets are a New Jersey team. Bring them back. I don't care what it costs. If we have to uh, buy million-dollar um, popcorn buckets, we'll do it. But the Nets should be in New Jersey, because growing up, I love the Nets. And um, I wasn't a huge basketball fan when I was a young, young kid, but the Nets were my team, because, you know, Jersey. And we need them back, with Cam Thomas and Bridges. But you can keep everything else. So, yeah, there we go. And Claxton. We'll take the team. But yeah, Cam Thomas. So one day, we'll get him back. And then a superstar, Tyrese Halliburton. Purple Prism. Yeah, I love Halliburton. I wish I bought more. I don't know why I didn't. I just can't explain myself. One of the few players I didn't go crazy buying when he was cheap. Now I have to pay the price for uh, not believing in Halliburton enough. So yeah, the Purple's 99 I oh, love these cards. Color match, especially purple, because that's my favorite color. That's it. And he is so good at basketball. So, purple prism. And uh, he's had a great year. So, I bought some Hallie finally. And honestly, too late. Too late. Got to go with your gut. 
Usually I do, and this time I didn't. Like, Simon's, I don't know, Cade. But for some reason, I just didn't go with Heli. And here is the next one. Brandon Miller, again. This one is 225. And, um, yeah, this is the orange. He is a sticker autograph. And this is a true orange. I don't like the uh, shimmer ones. But the other guys, one being Scoot, were on card. It'd be nice if he and Caitlin Clark were on card. That'd be nice because... Those are kind of the four top players in that set. But instead, uh, he's a sticker, unfortunately. And yeah, still a nice card. And it's a uh, 8-5 surface, so I haven't really looked that closely. But yeah, still 9. I'll take it. If he's good, he has no autographs with Panini. So my thought process is, I mean, really very little downside and a lot of upside. Because good player, you want their kind of first autographs. Here you go. And none with Panini. So there we go. And then a rare sighting on this channel. It's Desmond Bain. Lava. 10. I think. Let's see. I have the Cubic, the Galactic, the Lava. I think I have the Sunburst. I need the Cosmic, the Impact, and the 101, I think. And some other ones. But I don't believe... Actually, I've seen the 101. I have the non-rookie year 2 101, but... I don't believe I'll ever get that one. They're asking uh, a lot, and I don't think I'd ever pay that much. So, you know, got close enough. Got the hobby rainbow for the most part, the hard parts. So, Desmond Bane, PSA 10 Lava. This is the rarest one from Hobby Revolution, but the one of one is from the T Mall one. And now they actually nerfed it, and you can't even get the one of one anymore. So, got this one finally for the Bane collection, and he is a baller. Next card, another baller to 35. The gravity feeds have gone extinct. Who remembers, I think 2021 was the last year, the Prism Gravity Feeds in Target. That was a hunt. I used to go all over the place looking for those because they were the best ones. For like 100 something, you get usually, I mean, give or take one to two, you get like two to 35 purple pulsars, which is pretty glitchy for retail. So I always look for these and many others. I believe I found one or two, but the hunt was crazy. And um, Lomelo is probably the Best guy from that year. No, LeBron might be the best one. The LeBron tribute. Him, Melo, Amp, Hallie, Maxi, you know, Bane. Those are the guys. And finally bought this one. Melo is very good. And he is a guy who I believe in a lot. So, yeah. Finally got this uh, purple Pulsar. And I very much like this card. And um, purple, once again, favorite color. Pulsar. Love this one. One of my favorites when I first got into collecting. Just as a kind of novice collector. Not knowing much. I saw the Pulsar and said that is the sickest parallel. So, Pulsar, Lamello Ball. There we go. Now for stack two. Let's get started. So, starting off with this guy. And I have no clue what it is until right now. Oh, yeah. Okay, here we go. Caleb Williams. So, so nice. How about I got it twice? There you go. Two of them. I really like these cards. Same thought process as the Brandon Miller. So, yeah. Um, what do you guys think? Am I crazy for buying two of these? And uh, comment your thoughts down below. But these are mail days. Just kind of chatting with you guys. And um, very curious what you guys say. And you guys like these, once again, like and subscribe. We'll do some more. And comment down below if you want to see more mail days. I'll do some more. So, yeah. Got uh, two of these. Pretty much, I don't know if he's going to be with Panini or not. The NFL license is up in the air right now. And at the same time, he's had some early autographs with Panini, but so did Bryce, I think, and CJ. And then they got signed exclusively. So that's the reason why there's the RPS instant ones. So if he's exclusive with Fanatics at some point, and there's a good chance he could be, then no NFL autographs. And if he's good, there you go. So there's only autographs and his kind of Bowman first. So I got two of these, saw them getting real cheap. So why not? Probably first pick in the draft, and I love the draft. So, well, first picks too. So, uh, yeah, from my perspective, couldn't really go wrong. Very little downside and a lot of upside. So, we'll see how he does. I want some Drake May ones as well. And, yeah, I love the first Bowman. Don't love collegiate stuff, but the first Bowman overpowers the collegiate for me. And, for me, it's a buy. So, there we go. Next up, also from my LCS. So, yeah, I mentioned I walked in. Not going to buy cards. I was actually there to uh, buy some of the stuff and, of course, walked out with a lot of cards. And, uh, yeah, I feel like that's always the plan. Don't buy uh, too much. But um, I bought 
I don't know about too much, but I'm very happy with the buys, but I did spend money that I wasn't planning to spend. So now we have a uh, 99 Justin Jefferson. This is the crossover RPA and a vertical, you know, chunky one color patch, but nice card. And he is uh, back. He's a stud. Well, this guy. So yeah, there we are. Crossover RPA and on card autograph of one of the best receivers in football and probably will go down if he stays healthy ever one of the best ones so there we go continue on we have two cards so first this one eminence super thick chunky card like 240 point something like that it's very thick and to five chris paul on card game worn game worn that means a lot these days that goes a long way to me and then we also have this card i didn't buy this card this one i did Franz Wagner, FOTL, true RPA to uh, 8. So, that's a PSA 9. And I bought this one from uh, CB47 on um, on Whatnot. And then they threw this one in. So, hey, big shout out. Thank you very much. So, Franz, I like his game a lot. And we'll see how he does so far. So good. We'll see. I think he has all the game. And I'm very, very optimistic about... Not only him, but the magic. And uh, we'll see how they do. Him, Paolo. So, NCRPAs are the ones. I actually like Flawless more because it's game-worn. But still, NT NT. And Hobby loves NT. So, this is also included. So, hey, big shout-out. Thank you very much. Chris Paul, my man, CP0. I actually love Chris Paul. If I didn't, I wouldn't call him CP0. I only will kind of poke fun at the players I actually like. So, there we go. CP0. And now we have the final one. Oh, boy. This was very expensive. It was like low $10,000 range. And there's a very important story with this one as to why I paid that much. So I'll show you this card and comment down below. Was I smart or crazy for paying this much for this card? And then there's a reason why I did because I had a plan going into this one. It was a kind of live auction and everything changed. So here's the card. I mentioned earlier that I was trying for the 1B, seven cases plus, didn't pull it. And um, how well the on card, he is on card. He's not with Panini for autographs, only with Fanatics and Tops, only a few sets. And this is the big one. The uh, first Bowman Auto. And now that I think about it, I've never seen the Super Fracture, but he only has a few parallels. There's the base, the I think green, yellow, gold, orange, I guess red and Super Fracture. I've never seen the Super yet. Still out there, so hunting time. But yeah, 10000 for this one. And that was not the plan. So here's how this went down. First of all, I love this set once again. First Bowman, on card, everything. 10, can't go wrong. But this was part of the Whatnot Card Show. And it was auctioned live. This would be auctioned live. So I think it would end around, you know, probably the 8 range, if I had to guess, in there. It's supposed to be auctioned at a dollar. And my plan was to bid, you know, try to win it, obviously. I was expecting, I'll pay around, you know, 7 to eight somewhere around there um but the problem was they ended up not running at a dollar like last minute out of nowhere they just ran at ten thousand dollars and no one was bidding so I was like, all right they just want to see i guess if someone would bid ten thousand and i didn't bid no one bid and also in the last second someone just puts the 10k bid down so i only have a few seconds to think do i want to get this card or do i want to let it go and i really wanted it so i said you know what let's do it and i uh clicked the little swipe thing and I put my bid in. Right after that, someone goes, or I guess the guy who uh, made that bid goes, whoops, miss uh, click or miss swipe. So I was like, oh my goodness. So that was just um, a not real bid, I guess. Well, I mean, he just made a mistake, I guess, and went like this and it put his bid in. And so I was like, are you kidding me? So that was unfortunate. And that's why I paid 10000 I wasn't expecting or preparing or trying to pay that much. But obviously in the heat of the moment with a uh, buzzer going down, like what maybe five six seconds left I had to make a decision and uh sorry let me try for it let me go for it and uh swiped i won the card i thought all right there you go i want it and then the guy goes whoops i wasn't even meaning to bid so probably would have got it for like seven eight ended up paying like 2k more which obviously isn't ideal but here's what it is uh just because some dude missed swiped on it and uh yeah that's how i ended up paying 10 so if you guys think i'm crazy i was trying to pay seven to eight but you won't see these cards very often and once again, only 50 of them. A lot of guys are holding these. 
this isn't available on keeping it myself. So if I wanted to uh, get the card, it was really then or never. So made the plunge. What do you guys think? Crazy buy, smart buy. In my opinion, very limited card of one of the generational prospects. And um, yeah, he can play, especially when he's playing against Scoot or the Blazers. He can seriously play. So uh, yeah, I like it. Overpaid probably a little bit. Definitely paid more than I wanted to. And the experience itself could have definitely gone better. But end of the day, I have the card. And I appreciate if I can have this in my collection. So that is one of the biggest sports card purchases ever. What do you guys think? Crazy or smart? So hey, there we go. And that concludes the mail day. What's your favorite card? Flip through it real quick. And I'll close off on the Wemby, but I just want to show you guys again. It's a lot of cool stuff. Been collecting. Who have you been collecting? Or uh, buying up? And why? And what do you guys think of the ones I've been buying? So there we go. That concludes the latest mail day. Got some more coming soon uh, once I get more stuff in. So stay tuned. And Wembenyama. Finally got one. Man. So much spent on Bowman U. I wish I pulled one for some reason. It just never came. And uh, finally we got him. So there you go. Wemby Yama. And that concludes this latest mail day. With Wemby finally home for over 10k. Well over 10k in the end. Because you know, after all the associated fees with it. But he's home. We got Wemby. Best of luck my man. And what are your predictions for him for his career? So far off to a good start. And hopefully those uh, Halloween cards and his 38 point cards go up. So that does it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Until next time, I'll see you guys later.